Okay, so for today, we are going to talk about 1001 Solve Integrals Part 16. And we are going to solve some problems here. It's nice to be back. Again, uh, we are going to solve first this uh, problem. Integral of cosine squared y dy. So, uh, when we see uh, this kind of problem, uh, what we think is that we can separate the two cosines here. But it's not. It's not possible. Because... Uh, it's only a squared here. So what we are going to do is to apply some certain uh, trigonometric uh, identities here. And in this case, we're going to use the half-angle formula. So we, recalling the half-angle formula, we have cosine squared x equals 1 plus cosine of 2x over 2. So by half-angle formula, we can simply transform this into half-angle, okay? But uh, this time, the variable is y. So we have uh, 1 plus cosine of 2x or 2y, 2y all over 2, and then a dy. And then uh, separating okay, the integral. So we have 1 half dy plus we have cosine of 2y all over 2 dy. So constant rule. We can factor out the constant outside of the integral sign. So you have 1 half integral of dy plus 1 half integral of the cosine of 2y dy. And as you can see, this cosine of 2y dy is already readily integrable. But we just have to uh, use u substitution there by letting u as our 2y and uh getting the der derivative both sides so this becomes 2 dy and we only want uh, dy here so we have du all over 2 equals dy so we can now proceed with the substitution we have 1 half integral of dy plus 1 half integral of cosine of 2y that's cosine of u and then dy would be du all over 2 and I can factor out again uh, the one half so that this becomes one half times one half integral of cosine of u du okay so we can have it as one half integral of dy plus one fourth integral of cos integral of cosine of u so integral of cosine of u du that would be one half y plus 1 fourth integral of cosine u is simply sine of u plus c but take note we need to go back to the original uh, variable our u is 2y so we need to get back to the original variable we have 1 half y plus 1 fourth sine of 2y plus c so this would be our final answer in our first problem Okay, for our 101 problem. Okay. Alright. So next, we have 102, problem 102. Okay, the integral of uh, sine squared beta. Then we have cosine of squared beta, d beta. Okay, so now we have the same sine squared and then the same cosine squared so actually we cannot just simply uh, let u substitution here uh, letting u as sine and then cosine because we have a squared here okay we cannot just simply do that and uh, the first thing that we're going to do here is none other than by half angle formula okay so we have seen this already cosine squared of beta d beta but also, this is also a, a half-angle formula. So, recall that the sine squared of x equals 1 minus cosine of uh, 2x. Okay? And then we have all over 2. So, just like the problem here a while ago, we have uh, for cosine squared x, we have now the half-angle formula for sine squared x. So if you do that, sine squared x, that would become 
1 minus cosine of 2 beta. In this case, we have the uh, variable as beta and then all over 2. Then multiplied again by half angle of cosine squared. Okay, that is just what we have solved here. Uh, it's such that the variable here is y and here beta. But it's still the same. By half angle, this becomes 1 plus. Okay, for cosine, it's plus. For sine squared, it's minus. So you have cosine, okay, 2 beta all over 2. Okay, and then d beta. Okay, as we all know, we can factor out 1 fourth. So we have 1 half for this one, the first term, and then 1, one half with another term. So we can factor it out. So 1 half, we have 1 minus cosine 2 beta. Then we have 1 plus cosine d e beta. Okay, that's just simply factoring. The, 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 the 1 half, uh, I'm sorry, the 1 half here for 1 minus cosine 2 beta. And of course, we can also have 1 half here in a 1 plus cosine 2 beta all over 2. Or, or 1 plus cosine 2 beta, I'm sorry. Okay, 1 plus cosine 2 beta. Okay, so we can factor that out leading us to 1 fourth and we can factor it out outside of the integral sign. So we have now 1 fourth of the integral of 1 minus cosine 2 beta then multiplied by 1 plus cosine 2 beta, d beta. Okay, so now we have to multiply these two. Okay, it's just, just, it's just that uh, we are multiplying 1 minus cosine 2b and 1 minus 1 plus cosine 2b. So it, it's the result would be 1 minus cosine uh, squared 2b. Okay, 2 beta. So just it's just like multiplying x minus 1 and x plus 1. Okay, the answer would be x squared minus 1. And that's the result here. It's such that it's, it's just uh, inverted 1 minus x and then 1 plus x. So we have 1 minus x squared. Okay, so that's what happened here. So, and you can also foil it, okay, and you will be still arriving at the same answer. So we have this uh, 1 minus cosine uh, squared to be. Okay, so the problem here is that we can actually separate. We have d beta, 1 d beta minus integral of cosine squared 2 beta. 2 beta okay, d beta okay, uh, bracket 1 fourth being uh, multiplied to the whole integral so if you do that it's very simple so we have 1 fourth we have uh, d beta here So, but before I do that I just want to first uh, simplify okay, uh, the integrals here so I can multiply Okay, let's just make it straight. Okay, multiply 1 fourth here. If I multiply 1 fourth to the integral of this, it becomes, okay, I have 1 fourth here. Okay, so this becomes, we know that this becomes 1 fourth beta. Okay, but we have already 1 fourth and cosine squared 2 beta. Uh, we can still, what? Okay. Cosine squared 2 beta, okay, we can still, by half angle formula, okay, we can still what? Reduce it, okay, into half angle. So that would become 1 plus cosine, okay, 4 beta all over 2, okay? So a while ago, we, we only have cosine of squared of beta, Okay, so, but uh, it resulted to 1 plus cosine of 2 beta. But since we have 2 here, we have to have multiply 2 here. So, 2 times 2, that becomes 1 plus co fo cosine 4 beta all over 2. So, we have now minus 1 fourth. We have now the integral of what? 1 plus cosine 4 beta all over 2 t beta. And that one fourth is multiplied. 
Okay? This one fourth is multiplied. So I can still separate it. Okay? If I'm going to do this, that would be one half d beta plus I have integral of cosine of four beta all over uh, two here, then d beta here. Okay? So now, one fourth beta minus one fourth, I don't distribute this first. So that you can see, simplify, I have one half integral of d beta here. I can also factor out one half here, and that would give me cosine of four beta d beta, of which this cosine four beta, this one, we can let u. Okay, so now distribute one fourth, okay, this one fourth into the bracket. So what will happen? We have one fourth that becomes one eighth. And the integral of d beta would be beta. Okay? One fourth times one half, that would still be minus. Okay? Because of the minus here. Minus here. Okay? So that would become minus one all over eight also. But take note, in, 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 in evaluating this integral, okay, we have to consider, we have to let u four beta and we have du as four d beta we have du all over 4 as d beta so if we do that you have cosine of u and then we have du all over 4 so in order for us to integrate that we have we can factor out 1 fourth so that would be 1 8 times 1 fourth so integral now of cosine of u du so we have 1 fourth beta minus 1 8 beta then one, 1 all over 32 sine of u plus c. Okay, the integral of uh, a cosine would be sine. So going back to its original variable beta, so we can now have 1 all over 32 sine of u, which is 4 beta plus c. Okay, but we can still simplify this. 1 fourth minus 1 eighth will still be 1 fourth beta okay so we have one fourth uh, one 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 fourth minus one eight i'm sorry that would be one eight okay one eight beta minus one all over 32 is sine of four beta plus c so this will be our answer it's just like uh, you are minusing one one half minus one fourth the result is uh one fourth right so the half of one fourth is one eight so if you minus one fourth minus one eight, that is still one eight. So that would be the uh, result for this. Okay. Oh, for 103, problem 103 uh, now. Okay, so for 103, we have integral of cosine squared x. Then we have sine cube of 2x dx. So the very first thing that we're going to do, of course, uh, in this type of problem, okay, is that our goal is to make our u as the sine, and then the du will be cosine of x. Okay, that's the logical thing to do. But uh, in this case, we still first need to uh, rewrite this as sine of 2x cube so that we will be able to use some of the uh, identities again okay for sine of 2x and sine of 2x 
remember that that would be 2 sine of x cosine of x. Okay, so we have cosine squared of x. Then we have 2 sine of x cosine of x cubed. Okay, and then we cube this. Okay, the reason we do this is for us to have another cosine, okay, of which we will be using that as our uh, uh, du later on. So we have cosine of squared x cube this. That would be 8 sine of cube of x cosine cube of x dx. Okay, so again, if we do this, we have uh, 8 sine cube of x then cosine okay we have cosine uh, raised to 5 of x dx okay so cosine squared then cosine cube 3 plus 2 that would be cosine raised to 5 so I can factor out 8 and what I'm go going to do is I am going to strip off cosine here it's a prime number so I'm going to strip off one cosine here that will serve as my du. So my ultimate goal is to make all of this integrand as what? As sine. Okay? So I have here sine cube of x, but cosine raised to 4 of x. Okay? I can rewrite that as cosine of x raised to 4. Then we have cosine of x dx. Or shall I say, if I'm going to write this, this will be cosine of squared of x raised to square cosine of x so that I have a, an identity that would make this as sine so that would be cosine squared of x is 1 minus sine squared of x so if I do that that would be 8 integral of sine cube of x and then I have 1 minus sine squared of x then we have cosine of x dx okay so, right now, I've made the cosine a sine because, again, our du, if we let this as u, okay, we will be having a cosine of dx as du. So, 8 integral of, I'm going to distribute this to 1 and to sine squared. That would be sine cube of x minus sine raised to 5 of x. Okay, so, not only that, I'm sorry. Sorry, we have here a squared, okay? I forgot. We have here a squared, okay? So technically, we can just we cannot just uh, sim distribute it first. So what we're going to do, we have a square here because of this, here. So what we're going to do is to expand 1 minus 2 sine squared of x plus we have sine raised to 4 of x cosine of x dx so what i did was to simply perform the foil okay in here so that we will be able to uh we will be able to expand okay this given uh squared here so i can distribute okay now so we have 8 sine of cube of x minus 2 sine raised to 5 of x plus we have sine of raised to 7 of x. Then I have cosine of x dx. So if I let you as, uh, if I let you as sine of x, okay, and the du would be cosine of x dx. So seeing this is simple substitution. So u substitution. So I have u cube minus 2u raised to 5 plus u raised to 7, okay? And then I have du as cosine of x dx. So simply, that would be u raised to 4 all over 4 minus 2, u raised to 6 all over 6, which that would be 1 all over 3, plus u raised to 8 all over 8, and then plus c, of course. So if I distribute 8, that would be here, 8 divided by 4, that would be 2. If I distribute 8 here, Okay, so first, let me just first uh, allow it to, for you to see it. So you have 8 u raised to 4 all over 4 minus 8 u raised to 6 all over 3 plus 8 u raised to 8 all over 8 plus c. 
So that 8 all over 4 is 2. 8 all over 3 cannot be cancelled. We have 8 all over 8 will be cancelled. So you have 2 u raised to 4. Okay. Minus 8 thirds of u raised to 6. Plus u raised to 8 plus c. So what happens here? Our u is sine of x. So you have 2 sine raised to 4 of x minus 8 all over t sine of 6. Sine of x raised to 6. And plus we have sine of x raised to 8 plus c. And that will be our answer for this problem. So I think I'll be giving at least three problems first. So that we will be continuing for uh, again on the next video, part 17 of this uh, uh, integral. So as you can see, we have a long solution. Definitely, uh, it will take some time to practice on how to solve this. Okay, And again, thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something. This is Engineer Abbott and see you again on the next video. Bye.